Hi there, good morning. Uh, today is going to be the Roan X Ison collab. I got all these different items, so I figured I would show you the uh, swatches of everything and let you see how it all looks. Uh, I started off with the Brita blouse and Leah pants. Um, I honestly wish I'd wear the Andrea pants instead with these, but <laughs> I had already recorded it, so uh, it's whatever. Um, all of this stuff does go together amazingly. I was really excited to go through all this stuff. So um, just uh, go through all these palettes. If you need to rewind, I apologize. I was just trying to make this not a 50-minute movie. <laughs> um, but all the colors are the same. They have a white, gray, black, tan, blue, green, red, purple, and pink are the bonus um, HUD colors. And yeah, I really like these a lot. So now I'm moving on to the Ruse top with Malia pants. And um, at first when I tried these on, I had tried them on with the Andrina pants, so I had slight clipping, but I didn't have that in the case with these pants, and I thought they worked a lot better. Uh, there was barely any clipping. There was still some on my back a bit, but I just had to uh, edit that out with the Maitreya HUD, and it was no big deal. Um, all of these, except for two looks, no, three looks are... They have standard sizes and Maitreya size, and the shoes are Maitreya and Slink, um, but uh, there's a few that are just Maitreya exclusive, and I'll mention those when we get to them. <laughs> um, but again, I was just going through these color swatches pretty fast. Um, right now, this is the Andrina pants and the Houston top, and these work really well together. The, um, the only t one that doesn't is with the Ruse. There's slight clipping, as I had said before. Um, I really did like this event, though. I thought this was really great. Um, uh, I saw it as one of my favorite stores, and it also introduced me to Roan. I haven't really bought too much from them, but now I definitely want to check out their store a bit more. Um, the This top is the one that... The Houston top is the one that only is Maitre exclusive, just because it is sheer, and you can also see slight nipplage. Nippage, <laughs> nippage, as same as the dress that you'll see later on that is, has a similar texture. And again, these all do have the same colors, but honestly, a lot of them work really well together. I honestly really enjoyed this palette. I like this a lot. I think the only thing that would have been missing for me really is like a brown. I really would have loved a brown as well. Now we have the Venturini skirt in the Vallejo tank. Um, this tank top, I think, is actually probably one of my favorites in the pack. Uh, the skirt works with all the tops except for the last shirt I just showed you, the Houston top. Uh, there is a lot of clipping with that, but it works with all the other tops wonderfully. I thought that texturing was beautiful with this. I love the snakeskin style and all the silk. And uh, I think the green and the black were my favorite of the skirt. And with the top, I liked all the colors. I thought they were beautiful. It's a lot easier to show the color palettes when it's uh, the same Roan items instead of Ice on and Roan just because they have the same colors in order and I was just going left to right <laughs> top to bottom so but every single one if you get the fat pack comes with a purple and pink but they're not sold on their own they're the only way you can get them is by getting the fat pack uh, next week coming up will be the Ine coat and that's this right here. It comes with uh, just hanging on the shoulders as well as arms and the sleeves. And it comes in sizes, uh, I think, extra small to large. Uh, and then again, with and without the sleeves. Like, say right here, you can see that I threw the sleeves on as well, as so you can see both looks. Um, I wore it with a few different looks. I wore it with the Ventrini skirt and Vallejo tank, the Andrina pants and Houston top, and the Leah pants and Vallejo tank. And I thought they all worked really well with it. And again, I really like the textures a lot. I think the black and the red looks are my favorite. Um, it does also come with an arm lock, so when you're wanting to walk around with it, it'll lock your arms in place for the ones that don't have the sleeves on. Uh, I switched and transitioned to the Lexi jumpsuit next, and it works honestly amazing with the vests and coats. Um, this was another favorite, honestly. It fits so well. There was no clipping whatsoever. The texturing was beautiful. And this is from Ison. Um, and yeah, of course, <laughs> I like the black vest again. Uh, it's just my style. I like those colors a lot. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought a moment. It, uh, I think my favorite look with it, though, was with the overcoat that you'll see later on. And as well as the, the dress that's coming up next. I love the overcoat. I thought it worked perfectly, but you'll see that in a bit. Man, I really liked Cami on these. 
Look how artistic I am, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I did also really like this pink. I think this is my favorite texture on everything for sure. I thought it was almost like a nude. Um, this is the Mika dress. There's the Mika dress and there's the Mika strapless gown. Again, the Mika dress I really liked a lot with the overcoat as well. I thought this was just a very slender look. Um, it's definitely my style. It's something I'd wear all the time. I like anything that's form-fitting and like that kind of shows my belly a bit. Like you can see my hip line and my belly, and uh, that's normally something that I uh, normally veer towards. <laughs> I want to get. Um, I thought it also it does work very well with all the coats, but I didn't really care for it for the uh, the big trench coat. I forgot. I don't. I just. Uh, I can't even remember the name. I'm really bad at this. I think it was the Ina coat. Yeah. Um, it just was kind of heavy on it with this look. It just kind of felt like I was swimming in the coat. And this is the Mika strapless gown. When I saw this dress, I instantly thought of my friend Saffron. Uh, she always likes to wear her gowns in white. And I think this is a perfect look to wear without it looking too much like a wedding dress. Um, it just, it's so beautiful. The wrinkling is lovely on the front and the back. And the texturing just went perfectly with this. I really love the seams and it's almost like a corseted front and um, it just it's so slimming and so slender. It, every single thing auto alphas um, so you don't have to really worry about it if you're using the Maitreya body. Uh, just make sure you get a demo whatever you try. Everything fits different on everyone but it fit perfectly on me. I think this is I keep saying this this was another one of my top favorites of this event. Um, each store has eight items for sale. Uh, Roan has eight in their store, and Isan has eight in theirs, so there's a total of 16. Um, it is a rather pricey event, so do make sure you get demos. And I, I do honestly suggest, unless you're really sold on the purple and this pink, to get uh, individual colors of what you want. Uh, the fat packs were ranging between like 850 to 1,500, so they're all different prices. This is the Miho dress. Definitely get the demo with this. Um, I'm sure not all AOs will clip, but mine did. Uh, you can see in a few of my pans that um, you can see clipping on the back of the dress, and since this is Maitreya fit only, and it is sheer, I can't really alpha that out. Um, but And I'm also wearing tights, by the way, so normally it's not sheer, or it's more sheer on the legs, but since I was wearing tights to cover up, you can't see that. But you can see slight clipping occasionally. It's still a beautiful dress, and I think other AOs and poses would work better, um, but mine did not. <laughs> it's still uh, is very slender, and it's very form-fitting, and again, my type of style. Um, I think if I didn't wear the tights, too, it wouldn't be clipping on the thighs. It's just because I'm wearing a clothing layer that it shows a bit more there. Uh, this does also fit with all the coats again. Um, I don't think it's really needed though just because it is a long sleeve so that's not something I would normally pair together but since it is so skin fitting it does go with the coats um, very well and the vests. And speaking of vests, here's the vest. Uh, this is the Sora vest and I'm wearing it with the Andrina pants and Vallejo tank top. Um, I really like this. It's almost like an open robe so it's something that I can wear with my character as well. And it still looks very work professional, even though you can see the open arms. Um, the colors, again, looked really nice. I really liked all the color combinations. And I know I'm wearing the pink in most just because that's what I ended up with. Um, but I just um, think even all these colors work really well with it. I, even like the green and the uh, and the pink or the, I don't know what to call that color. It's like a mustard yellow <laughs> with it. It just looks really nice. Um, I think the only one I wouldn't wear as the vest is this pink one right here, just because it's so pastel. I normally like darker to accent with, like, a nice tank top. And this is the overcoat that I keep on, like, melting over. This is the Walton overcoat, and right now I'm wearing it with a Mika strapless gown. Um, this <laughs> definitely was my favorite. It is a Maitreya fit only. And I do change it out eventually for the Lexi jumpsuit, just to show you that it does work really well with both looks. Because again, this I honestly thought this looked perfect with it. And it fit like a dream. Um, you can walk smoothly with it. It doesn't have a uh, arm lock on it, but uh, the, I used the one that came with the other uh, coat. And that worked perfectly for it. Um, but I also just used a stand as well, and it worked perfect. 
I really didn't like this a lot. I think this is beautiful for pictures, especially. I love the seam down the back, and I kept staring at that the most. I think that's why I kept camming towards it. It was my favorite part. Um, and I, it looked so realistic. I was very happy with it. Um, I'm going to move to heels next, though. And that's just the last two things we have. We have the Bella heels that will be coming up now. And let's see. Here we go. Again, it comes with all the same palettes, so all this stuff will match. This is the one by Ison. Roan had their own as well. Um, these come in Maitreya fit and slink. So uh, it's a little bit more versatile, but there's no Beleza, no TMP. Um, but I think most mesh bodies allow you to wear your slink feet with them, so I'm not sure how big of a deal that is. Um, but I loved the black, of course, with these, and I also really liked these tan. I thought these looked really nice on this. Um, of the two shoes, I think I liked the Hadid heels a bit better, but I th still think these are really nice. These are still professional and not too platformy, like to be not work professional or secretarial. Um, it's it's uh, so elegant. I really liked it a lot. Just have a few more colors, I think. Um, this event only lasts until September 28th. So try to get in while you can. Uh, definitely uh, check this out. It is an exclusive event, and it won't be showing up again in their stores. I believe they won't sell it in their stores. This is the Heedy Eat Heels, by the way. Um, but oh, <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought. I should have written down notes or something. Um, the Heedy Eat Heels, Heels were my favorite, especially for the zipper in the back. I think that was my favorite part. Um, but yeah, uh, this event is only for... A few more weeks. It's literally only a month long, um, and I got it the day it opened. It's just my Photoshop did not want to cooperate with me. Uh, definitely go check it out. I really enjoyed this event. I really hope more stu stores do collabs like this. Um, I love the Ison and Row collection. I love when Rainberry cl collabs. I love when Empire and Blueberry collabs. I just think it's so cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be wrapping this up now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was really weird to have the overdub. I've been flailing so awkward about it, but thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.